Hello, in this video of voice image, I will show you how to stitch two or more images uh, to make one single image and also I will try to show you how to cut one small portion of an image and uh, take that portion of image on to a different image and make that portion, that uh, extracted portions, integral part of that another image. So let's open a uh, few of the examples. I'll try to use some of the examples like this could be one. So this is a uh, simple image. This is a uh, simple tag image file, that tip file. I'll try to open insert a few, few other images. So I'll go to my T drive and this folder and I'll take a uh, few other examples. Let's uh, use this one. So this is one more image. Or I can take one more image. So let's go and this one. So these are uh, three different uh, images, three different part of uh, of an images maybe. So our target will be to stitch all of these images and to make one. So first thing we need to know about the 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 matching points. We need to figure out the matching points of each of the images. So on this case, we will use uh, arbitrary points. So the first things maybe we can uh, consider that uh, this image will be these two points, these two points, this one and uh, this one, these two points will uh, match with maybe with these two points, this one and this one. So on that case, we need to say we need to align, we need to use align. So I just pressed command align and now it's telling me to select an object so I'm selecting these objects and as I said that this point this point this end points so this is the point this point will meet with this point and uh, similarly I will uh, take this point so exactly this point so this point will uh, match with the other po the other point in this image so this will be exactly on this points right so this will be something like this so the second image will get scale automatically depending upon the matching point so it gets scaled so now if i can select the image uh, you know I, I should go to vector selections and select the image and you can find the image scale so it was it was uh, one earlier when we inserted the image if i can make undo and check the scale so it was one and when i align this image this one so now the scale is less than one so it's get scale automatically depending upon the matching points so now i'm okay with this uh, image so this is a different image or i can make the color something yellow okay and uh, there are one more image this one so i may need to align with these two points so again i'll go to align and i'll select the objects so this image maybe i'll take these two points so this is one point i can use obviously i can use uh, raster snap 
to take the point correctly so this is maybe the matching points so i need to choose the end point of the line so i choose the end points and uh, for the second points i'll use the raster step so i'll go to the second points so i'll take the end point of the line raster line and i'll go to the another image this one so i'll take the end points and uh, i'll match so again the image gets scaled automatically and uh, placed so now i have totally three different images with uh, align a condition so i i select the image okay so in this conditions now i need to select all three of these images so i select all three of the images of these images all three now uh I should go to this functions called new image from selections from insert so I select new image from selections if I click on new image from selections so the applications will uh, convert this three different images into one so as you can see if I make undo and so this is one single image now this is one single image right so if i go to image manager you can access image manager from tools and then uh, image so this is the same dialog box will appear so on this you can see uh, one new image will appear so new this one new 001 underscore 001 so you can save this image you can go to save as and you can say i want to save this image as new underscore zero zero one tag image file that's tip file it's a save so it will get safe the new image will get safe so let me make uh, undo so in the previous case when we did use the functions called new image from selections so all the source images were merged and uh, the new image were formed but if you want to keep the source images intact and still you want to make one uh, merged image that also possible so you can go to tools you should go to tools preference and then you should find uh, new image from selections and you should turn on this keep selections options so from now onwards if you use the functions new image from selections it should make one new stitched image image without disturbing the original ones so now you have one uh, new merged image single image and uh, you but still you have the source images and then you can you can go to the image manager as i did previously so from there you can save the newly formed image or you can save uh, as the entire workspace as cws so in that case i'll go to my d drive and i'll go to this directory and i'll say cws so once you choose cws that means all the objects in this workspace including rasters vectors will get saved in a single files and uh, it will form a cws file one thing i should uh, discuss on this video that if you see the file name and the locations of the file if you can see the locations of this file so these files are locations oriented so if you remove the file after closing the cws files uh, if you remove the sample tip files from this directory 
and uh, then after if you open the CWS in voice image that source will disappear. So the source file will not be there anymore. So to avoid these conditions and to make one single CWS independent file you should click on the embed options. So the moment you click on embed the file path will disappear that means all the resources in this file will be the independent entity of this CWS file. So you should click on the embed. So now you can remove the source files from that particular locations and just make save and close the file. So the CWS file, so I have the CWS file in this now. Uh, go to this folder. So I have the CWS file. So now if I open the CWS file again, it should show me all the resources in this file. So I go to the folder and open the CWS file. So things will be saved and it's independent file. It's not dependent upon all the external resources. So this is how you can actually uh, make a single CWS file with independent objects, not depends on XREF. That's external references. I'll uh, show you one more thing. I'll, I'll go to uh, one more images. I'll go to, I'll take one uh, simple examples of mechanical type images. So this is uh, one image and I'll uh, take another image. It could be this one. So what I want, I want this, uh, this particular sections, this, this view this view should remove from this drawing. So what I should do, I can go to this polygonal selections and I can use the cursor as I uh, as I need. I'll turn off the snap on this case. So it's much easier to handle. So what I'm doing, I'm just trying to select the whole uh, view from this particular drawing. So I'm selecting the whole view on this drawing so now i have selected the whole view in this drawing and i can remove it from this and my intention is to bring this particular view or maybe this particular view to that drawing so to do that i should uh, i should select either one of this i can i can choose uh, this one as well i'll turn off the snap for now so okay this one so what i want i just want to extract I just want to cut. I'll remove this uh, exit from this window and I'll go to, yeah, yes, this one. So I'll, I'll test the view on this drawing. Say OK. And now I'll select, uh, and it's wise to go again to preference and uh, new image from selections, this button, this one. So I'll select both of both the images now. This will appear as a image. So I'll select both the images and uh, then I say new image from selections. So now you have uh, just bought this portions from the other image. So this was the integral part of this image. So I cut that portions and paste in this drawing. So this portion is now part of this drawing. So this is a single image file, this is a TIFF file. So this way you can actually create your own uh, adjustments. You can bring different parts from different images and stitch with uh, some other images. So this type of adjustment you can, you can uh, perform on any raster images. I'll go back to this image again. So 
on this image say with this view so if you need uh, I just need to select this particular view so now uh, if I need to make a different image, totally different image. So let's go to image manager on this case. So I have only one image. So now I need to go to new image from selections. Okay. So just I got out from the selection. So I need to select the whole view. So I just select it and I'll go to new image from selections what it does it's basically will provide you one uh, separate image it's a separate image right so uh, now if you go to image manager and you can see that you have created one uh, one separate image Okay, so I, I need to save both the images. So the source image and the and the resultant image. So I, I can I can save as I can say save as and I can say okay and it's a new image to this part and close it. So now if I if I uh, need to save the 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 source image, so this this view will be out from the source image. So I need to press Ctrl S that save or if I do not need to save the source image then just go out from the source image without saving anything. Now go back to uh, the directory and try to open the new image underscore. So this is a totally different image. It's a single image now. right? So this way you can make uh, several adjustment on raster images. You can cut one small portions. You can stitch together different images. You can take one small part of one image and you can paste that image to some other uh, targeted images and there you can uh, stitch the image to form one single image. And uh, on top of that you have different controls like you can go to uh, resample the images what it does it's basically will allow you to increase the width and uh, height of the images basis on different uh, units you can change the resolutions of on um, images you can always go and change the resolutions of on images and uh, there is one more tool called resize so on this case I'm seeing that uh, if I go to the millimeter so this is the current image size basically so now if I need to increase the width and uh, and uh, I'll make it uh, 150 image size remember it will increase the the outer border of an image not the image contain so now you can save the image and place other views in this image so these are uh, useful tips for any uh, users who are dealing with this kind of maintenance drawings or raster images. It could be any uh, file formats, it could be PDF or any of the things you are receiving from scanner. So we support in voice image, we support most of the raster images from coming from scanner. So these are the file supporting uh, list, raster uh, file format supports invoice image so thank you thank you very much uh, for your time bye bye